Now we're going to take a look at adding new content to the scene. So in Unreal Engine 5, they've introduced something called the Content Draw. So to access the Content Draw, you click Control and Space. This will bring up this window here. But as soon as you click outside the window, it will disappear. Now the idea of this is to give you the maximum amount of working space when you're working in the viewport. But then when you need your content, it's only a couple of key presses away. So this content drawer acts the same as what's called a content browser. And you can think of it like the explorer or finder for your Unreal Engine project. If we go over here, we can see we're at the all content level. Let's open up the content folder. And then we can see our starter content that we chose to add when we were making our project. So let's open that one up. Now, it's got a whole bunch of assets in here, but they're all sorted into different folders. So let's go in and we'll have a look at props. From here, we can see a bunch of different items, including ones that are already in our level, like the chair. Let's add a couch to our scene. Now, I don't want to add it here, so I'm going to hold right click move around the scene until I'm zoomed out. My content drawer has gone away, so I'm going to hit Control Space. And I'm going to click on the couch in here and drag it out into the scene. And you can see it's already snapped out and it's, it's sticking to the other surfaces. So if I put it here and let go of my mouse, my couch is now in the scene. If I click Control Space, I can have another look and maybe I want to drag in a bush. I'm going to add a rock now. So I click and drag that in. Now this is way too big, so I'm going to press R so I can scale it back down. Now, what if I wanted to add something like a particle? Well, there's some particles over here, and we can see that we've got some explosions, fire, smoke. So let's drag in the smoke. You can see immediately the smoke starts emitting. So now that we've set up Unreal, we've made our project, we've learned about the viewport, how to move around it, add and move around content in our scenes, we're ready to learn filmmaking in the engine.